This is Children's Church. Hello, children! Hi! I was talking to the boys and girls. I don't see any boys and girls. Where? Are they down there? Are they up there? Where are the boys and girls? Um, Bobby. They're right there. Oh! That thing, that, that black funny thing that has a blinking red light? That's boys and girls? No, that's the camera. The camera is recording it so the boys and girls can see us. Oh! Why do they need to see us? Because we're going to teach them about our children's church lesson. We've been learning about the story of worship. And in the story of worship, we are talking now about the 14th and final unit. Peace. Peace? Yes. You mean like a piece of candy? No, 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 no. Peace. Peace. Like, um... The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, well, we're learning about peace because it is part of our worship service. It is? Yes, it's the last part. Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Crocker. Welcome to Children's Church today. Uh, this is our second t time to talk about our last unit that we have for the whole year. And if you can remember what this unit was called, it was called Peace. And we're going to talk a little bit more about Peace today. But first, we're going to sing a song. This song is called Shalom, my friend. And Shalom is a word that means peace. Peacefulness be with you. Shalom, my friend, shalom, my friend, shalom, shalom. God's peace be with you, God's peace be with you. Shalom, 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 my friend, shalom. This week we are going to talk about what it means to share God's peace with others and to help to bring peace to the world around us. The Bible tells us that when Jesus will come back, he will restore peace to the world. The Bible actually calls Jesus the Prince of Peace. We've talked many times about how this world is broken because of sin and how it's turned upside down and how someday God is going to make it right again. Until Jesus comes again, what are we supposed to be doing? Well, God has given us a job to do. We're not just going to sit around and wait for him to come back. We are going to share his peace with others around us. So God calls us to be peacemakers. In the book of Matthew, where Jesus talks about the Beatitudes, he says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. 
sons and daughters of God. They will be children of God. So, as children of God, we are called to do what Jesus did by making peace with others. Jesus came to make peace between God and us because because of sin there was a great division between us and God. Jesus came to make peace. I'm going to show you with a little illustration today kind of what a peacemaker does. I'm going to use some magnets here to help me illustrate. Magnets have same sides and opposite sides and when we are not at peace it is like a magnet that does not want to get along with someone else and it can hold us apart. If you look closely these magnets do not want to stay together even if I push them together they do not want to get along. But there are times in our lives where we are not at peace and we have things against each other but God wants us to be peacemakers let me show you in another illustration these magnets are at peace with each other they get along but if I turn them like this oh my will they stay look nope they try to get away from each other they are not at peace with each other a peacemaker can bring these two together even though they are opposites and do not want to stay together. They want to turn around. But a peacemaker doesn't like one or the other better. A peacemaker likes this magnet. The peacemaker also likes this magnet and can bring two together, to work together. So our job is to be like a peacemaker. A peacemaker is someone who brings peace between, let me get it the right way, two opposite opposing people. But this peacemaker, even though these two do not want to work together, when they have the peacemaker between them, they will, and they form quite a strong bond. <laughs> My magnet towers dancing. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back. If you have magnets at home, you can play games like this too. <laughs> the opposite sides. But it's fun when you find something that will be your peacemaker. So let's see. These two sides do not want to touch each other. Do you think they'll go together if I put this in between them? Ah, look now. Now they go together. I'm going to show you a few stories that my puppet friends are going to act out about being a peacemaker. And I want you to look in each story and see who was the peacemaker in that story. <laughs> oh, Katie, what's the matter? Oh, oh, Sierra, I have a toothache. <laughs> That's too bad. My mom called the dentist and I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. <laughs> well, that sounds like it's a good thing to do. The dentist might be able to help your tooth feel better. Oh, but I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. What if they give me a shot? I hate shots. Oh, well, they might not. What if they have to pull my tooth? It'll hurt. Oh, oh poor Katie. I'm sorry. Oh, you know, the dentist only does stuff like that if they have to. 
Really? You mean they don't just like to pull your teeth on purpose just to make you hurt? No, silly. They don't do that. They only do what helps you. Oh, really? Oh, but I'm still afraid. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, here, I know what we can do. Let me pray for you. Okay. <laughs> Dear God, please be with Katie and help her not to be so scared. Help her to be brave tomorrow when she goes to the dentist and help her to know that you are with her. Please help her to feel better too. Amen. Oh, thank you, Sierra. I feel a little bit better already. I, I had forgotten that God is with me all the time and, and that he'll be with me even if it hurts. That's right. He will, and I will pray for you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, 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 the red chair is mine! No, it's not. That's mine. I got it. It's my chair. Oh. No, sir! You pushed me out of the chair. It's your own fault. Stay out of my chair. Oh. Well, it's my chair. My favorite chair. I always sit in this chair. Every day. I sit in this chair. You should know that. <laughs> Besides, this chair has the best view of the playground from here. <laughs> I always use this chair. Oh, it's no good. <laughs> I'm not enjoying my chair today. <laughs> I'm not enjoying my favorite spot. I'm not even enjoying watching the playground. <laughs> oh. Hey, Katie. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I was being selfish. Uh-huh. I'm sorry I pushed you. Would you like to sit in this chair today? Why? Did, did you booby trap it? No. Here, you can have this chair. Don't you want it anymore? Of course I want it. It's the best chair of all of the chairs in the whole room. Well then, why would you give it to me? because I know I would enjoy it and and I was mean and I'm sorry and I want you to enjoy it today. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I was not being nice. Will you forgive me? Uh, sure. Thank you, Tommy. God made us and gave us hearts to worship him. That's why every Sunday we get ready for worship and we encourage each other by saying, let's go up to worship. We gather together and we hear God say, come worship me. Because he loves us, we tell God, I love you. Because we often sin, we tell God, I'm sorry. When we confess our sins with faith in Jesus as our Savior, God says to us, I forgive you, I think. Our hearts respond by saying, thank you. Because of God's kindness to us in Christ, we say, everything I have is yours. We need God's help, and so we say, help us. Because we live in a broken world where people are hurting, we cry out, How long? How long before all things are made right? 
We ask God to help us know Him better by saying, Open our eyes. Ask God to help us know Him better by saying, Open our eyes. We want to know God more through His Word, and so we say, Show me your Word. At the communion table, God says to us, Come to the feast. As we prepare to leave our worship service, God says, My peace be with you. We share that peace with others by saying, Peace be with you. Except today we have to do... This is the part where we share God's peace with other people. How do we do that? Well, we say, peace be with you. And then the person that we're talking to replies, and also with you. Want to try it? Uh, that sounds easy. Okay. Peace be with you. And with you too. Um, almost. And also with you. And also with you. Yes. And that's it? Well, then we shake hands. Uh, no, 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 not your hands. Shake the hand of the person that you said, and also with you. Like this? Yes. Okay, we can social distance shake hands. Ready? <laughs> that is how we share God's peace with our brothers and sisters. Are you my sister? Uh, well, no, we don't have the same mom and dad, but we do have the same Heavenly Father, and that is God, because you believe in God and you love Him, so you are His child, and so am I. So, that kind of makes us brothers and sisters. Oh, cool! I always wanted a sister! Daniel's going to help me with our memory verse for today. Our memory verse that we started learning last week is Psalm 34, verse 14. I'm going to read it first, and then Daniel's going to act out the motions for it, and then we're going to do it again, and you can act out the motions with him. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Now, you try it at home. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. That means chase after it. So, we say, peace be with you. And with you too. Um, uh, no, no, no. And, and with also you. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. And also with you. There you go. You got it. Oh, that was neat. Okay, I got it. I can do that. Okay. I hope the boys and girls can do that too. See you later. Well, thank you for joining me today in my basement, my place that does not look very peaceful, but when storms come, this is where we all go to because it's in the basement. And it is our place of peace, even though it also is a place of fun chaos. Um, I thank you and I hope that you will have a peaceful week, even in the midst of the chaos in your life, and that you will seek, like Jesus, to bring peace between people who are not at peace with each other. Be a peacemaker as children of God. And now let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I pray that you boys and girls would have a good week too and that God would bring his peace to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, when do I get my song? I want to sing a song. I didn't get to sing my song yet. Oh, okay. 
Shalom, my friend. Shalom, my friend. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Hey, don't interrupt my song. Stop that. <laughs> God's peace be with you. God's oh, peace, peace be with Stop you. Stop interrupting my song. Peace be with you. Shalom. Shalom. Stop.